Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. This is Raja and probably this news will feel good to you. This will seem good to you because I'm resuming the Unity Android, not Unity Android, I'm resuming the Unity 2D racing game tutorial series. So since the last time we left off, we had something like this. We had something like this. And after doing this tutorial, I am each and every day I get countless amount of messages, emails, comments from everyone, everyone asking for to continue this series and to convert this game to Android. So this is the place guys from here we are starting to convert it to Android and hopefully you will have a great time learning. Now before following with following on with the series, what you have to do is you need to set up your Unity development environment so that you can follow on in the series and develop it for Android. Now I'm not gonna repeat it here just because I have already created a series where I have demonstrated each and every step of how to uh, set up your Unity environment for Android development. So you need to watch that series and you need to, you need to watch at least two videos uh, in order to set up Unity and then you need to continue with this one. Okay, now I'm gonna add those videos in this playlist and along with that I'm gonna also show you where are those videos so that you can watch the first videos. So you just need to go to my channel, Charger Games. From there you just click on playlists. And in the playlist you just go to this Unity Android Game Developer Tutorial. You just click on that. And this is the playlist that you need to watch. And from there you need to watch at least the first and second videos. In the first video we will set up the Android SDK, JDK. And in the second video we will set up the unity remote which is going to be very very helpful while developing for android because it's it works as a remote and we can directly we can at runtime we can check out whatever happening by uh, touching or rotating it on our real device okay so make sure to watch these two videos before continuing with this series okay now we will need these things later but I will tell you whenever we need these things so that you can watch that. Now one more thing is that I did these videos a lot of days ago so I <laughs> forgot what I have done that so probably I have to look at the old codes and whatever I have written. Now maybe when we try to convert it to Android maybe there will be some problems because we were until now we were developing it for as you can see PC, Mac and Linux standalone. Now if we try to develop for Android there will be some changes, there may be some problems. I'll try to show you as much as I can to convert it to Android but please forgive me if there are some features are not available or there may be some errors. I'll try to do some as much as possible and in places wherever something doesn't work for Android or uh, if we can try to convert it to Android and, and if something doesn't work then we may need to do it again. Okay, so I'll try to show you whatever you have to do. So all you have to do is you just have to go check out these videos, set up your development environment and then we will start with this series. So I hope you guys are super excited because after this you will be able to release this game on Play Store and so thank you guys for watching. Let's continue this series and thank you very much for supporting me and it was not possible without your support. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. Have a great day and let's start learning.